pressing the barrel back in. What we're going to do here is uh, it's easy for me to demonstrate this part first. So there's a couple special tools you'll need. Uh, some of them you can make. Uh, the uh, this this is also an AK builder tool. It's really nothing more than a piece of uh, uh, looks like quarter inch uh, uh, flat stock cut in a T shape with a couple of a hole, with a couple of a uh, bolts drilled into it. That's all it is. So the easiest way to do this that I found just stick this guy in here like this. And you're gonna to want to adjust the screws so that they uh, so that this part touches the trunnion right here, and this screw touches the backside. Basically, it's the uh, the hook that the mag fits into on the backside of the trunnion. So, as long as this T part right here is touching the rail, you're good. And to support this, you're gonna need. couple pieces of a uh, half inch bar stock. So like this, just set it in there. Actually one piece is just fine. Uh, the Nodak spud receivers have uh, slightly wider rails, uh, so you're not going to be able to get away with as much bar stock in there as you would on the Global Trades. Uh, hasn't really made much of a difference. But once you get that guy in there, Set him in there like that, with the barrel with the barrel in place. This is just for demonstration. When you do this, the barrel is going to be on there. Uh, so I'm going to go into that next. <clears throat> it's just even easier to demonstrate without the barrel on there. Before placing the barrel into the trunnion, uh, one thing I like to do is take a file to the edge here. Not much. You're not taking much metal off. You're just you're just barely filing the ridge off of there. And you're, the idea here is not to take much metal. I mean, if you can if you can see what you've done, you've done too much. But the idea here is just just to get some of the uh, just to get the burring off, or just get so that it's nice and easy to slip into the trunnion. To fit the barrel into the trunnion, uh, first thing you want to do is uh, lubricate both the trunnion and the barrel. Uh, I use just RCVS case lube. I uh, found it works pretty well. And don't don't get shy with this stuff. I mean, don't put too much on there, but put it on pretty liberally because you, you don't want this thing bouncing around while you're pressing it in. Yeah, it'll do that a little bit anyways. But the more you have on there, the better. So just lube that up. Loop up the inside of the trunnion. And you want to insert the barrel into the trunnion as much as you can. What you want to do is line the edge of the rear sight block. These two points, you want to line you just want to look down and line them up with the insides of these pieces on the trunnion on the top here. And I've always just kind of uh, done it by eye. It's kind of hard to mess up. You just look down like you're sighting down the barrel. Man just kind of start the fit there. Just look down. You'll end up with something like this. Before placing the barrel in the press, uh, I like to use a nut like this for an AK-74. And uh, all it is is just a nut turned flat. It's a brass nut and it protects the top while it's being pressed. So it keeps you from marring up the inside. It keeps you from marring up, marring up the barrel crown. Just go like that. And This is how it should look when starting. Uh, all you have to do is uh, just start with the uh, 
Uh, to start with the barrel on the press, make sure everything's pretty much perpendicular, and uh, just start pressing. Okay, time to press the barrel. Now the idea is to get that this channel right here lined up in this hole as perfectly as you can. If uh, if it's a little bit far uh, forward when you go in, and I'm talking like a thousandth of an inch or a hair, headspace the gun. If it's okay, uh, or if it's a little loose, put the pin in. It'll generally adjust itself out. Uh, but then headspace it afterwards, make sure everything's okay. If not, push the pin back out, push the barrel back out just a hair, and then try again. Um, you may have to play with it a couple times, but the idea is to get this pin channel lined up in here as perfectly as you can. The Bulgarian guns is a little bit easier to do uh, than the Romanian guns because they go back and forth a little bit, a little better. Um, One trick you can do to see it a little better is some of the oil will build up on the inside of the hole. Just take a Q-tip and uh, swab around in there just to get some of the uh, oil out of there. And that way you can get a better idea of what it's doing. That's perfect right there. One pressed barrel.